I do have access to power tools, as you can see, but at the moment we don't have access to power. Apparently, I was told by a neighbor that just dropped by, a tree went down in the road and it cut off our power and my ability to leave here at the moment. I'm kind of marooned here. I don't think it's going to be a long fix, but at the moment, we don't have any power. If you're doing a project like this, it's always great to have backup plans that you can enact if you need to. If I only had power tools and we didn't have power, I'd have to just pretty much stop everything. But having the backup tools allows you to at least keep going. It's a prep, if you want to think about it that way. But it's a convenience because otherwise, you know, I'd be stuck here, I can't leave, and I couldn't even do any work. So it's always a good idea to have multiple ways of doing things and have some of them be ways that don't rely on things that aren't always reliable, like grid power. In terms of what's going on today, I'm just putting more boards on the side. It's going really well. I have zero scrap still. Uh, I added this post right here. Not for any structural reason at all, but just so that it could be a nailing point for the seam between these two boards. I'm still finding out what kinds of scrap sizes I have, and I'm making sure that I can fit it in perfectly without any excess waste at the end. And so far, it's going really well. Once I get up to the diagonal cuts at the top, I think I am going to start generating at least a little bit of waste. But so far, so good, and um, there's a good feeling to have all your money actually go into your project. That's it. Thanks for watching.